Nerdy for 30. 30 for nerdy, whatever we call this shit. <laughs> it's me, your boy Seed, the host. Most of the things right here on Pop Rica, man. We've been talking MCU all month long, right? Or, have, yeah, all month long, if you want to call it that. Uh, the, the first, all year long, I guess I just say, since this is January 2023. Man, we're just talking, we're just, you know, this is the doldrums. Like I said in the intro, explaining this whole shit. This is the doldrums of movie time, man. Hollywood dumps all their shit movies in January. So we got to have something to talk about. Damn it, we're going to argue about MCU movies. We've ranked them from 30 to 1. Worst to best, the MCU movies. And we're just keeping this train on and rolling. What do we unveil today? Today we unveil number 6. The Avengers. Directed by Joss Whedon. The tagline, some assembly required, I'll give you an A, solid A for it. When an unexpected enemy emerges and threatens global safety and security, Nick Fury, director of the international peacekeeping agency known as S.H.I.E.L.D., finds himself in need of a team to pull the world back from the brink of disaster, spanning the globe, daring, a, a daring recruitment effort begins. Uh, listen, man. It's the Avengers. Everything built to this, right? The entire phase one builds to this. And they 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 showed us that it could be done. Like when we first kind of figured out what was going on, like there's no way they're gonna be able to pull this off. And god damn do they pull this off. And it culminates in a movie that's just fun, funny, heartfelt, and just a joy to watch. That's all you can say about the Avengers. We get Loki just being Loki. I mean, he's the reason the Avengers and the comics all get together. They get together to stop his crazy ass. And that's what we get here in the movies. The introduction for each character is dope. And how they how they all tie into the fold. That battle between Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America. It's You kind of got to throw those in for the fans, man. Just to see how they all play off of each other. Sam Jackson and Nick Fury, the non uh, Sam Jackson and Nick Fury, Sam Jackson and Maria Hill, uh, Kobe Smolders, boo, uh, as your non humans, kind of, kind of mixing it up in there as best they can, directing and and doing what they do for Shield. Uh, you know, this movie disrespects Hawkeye. That's one of the the downfalls. Like Hawkeye. Hawkeye gets a little bit disrespected in this movie as as the dude who kind of turns on him, doesn't have a whole lot of character development. He hasn't had his own movie, him and Black Widow. All we've seen of Hawkeye is one scene in Thor earlier. And you know, that, that would be kind of rectified in the comics when Matt Fraction does his Hawkeye run, which they adapted in tone and spirit for Disney+. Plus. So Hawkeye's finally got some respect on his name. But just the Battle of New York, one of the best comic book movie third acts that exists. Especially in that, that, that full-on, long-take tracking shot of seeing them all in action. We get the classic line, that's my secret captain, I'm always angry. A lot of the world found out what shawarma was, <laughs> thanks to this. Man, it was Whedon doing what he did on Firefly with juggling an ensemble cast. He brings that sensibility to the Avengers and juggles this ensemble cast. Everyone gets their little bit of time to shine in this movie, with the exception of Hawkeye. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a great movie. It's the first movie I got to the end credits of and immediately rewound it and watched it again. I will forever adore this movie. And that's it for today. We'll be back in 24 of the hours, man, to, uh, to keep this train right on rolling on Nerdy for 30 right here on Paprika.